Hello everyone, I am back home finally from K-Pop Flex. I think it's been two days since I came home. The video is uploading right now and I wanted to talk some more about my experience at K-Pop Flex because there was no time in my other video because it's already more than 30 minutes long. It's just so crazy to me that K-Pop Flex has already passed because I've looked forward to this day or these days since January and I thought these days would never come and now they're gone already. It's so crazy how fast the time flies the concert itself like the artists the performances was amazing obviously i had so much fun even for groups that i didn't know that well like ab6 ab6 really put on a show they were amazing both days i like everyone was actually really really good obviously and they all put on a show and it was great and so much fun but the organization itself was horrible i have been to a lot of concerts and a lot of music festivals and this was by far the worst organization ever and you know saying that this was the first time they did it is no excuse because you know they should know how to put on concerts and how to organize concerts and stuff they were super unprofessional like i can look past not having enough water or the prices being too high and things like that by far the worst thing was the fact that we thought we paid for five hours of performances which is what they advertised what they told us and on the day of on the day of a few hours before they released the schedule or timetable or whatever and it's only two and a half hours that is absolutely insane and every artist had around 20 minutes to perform that is absolutely insane they all performed around four songs and dreamcatcher they performed three songs and they had a special stage after where they covered blackpink's kill this love but like I don't want to hear a Blackpink cover. I want to hear a Dreamcatcher song, you know? Other than that, they played three of their own songs, which is, like, mind-blowing. Like, I still cannot comprehend it. Obviously, the girls did amazing, and it was great, but, like, what do you mean, you know? What do you mean? And I did think that the artists who performed both days would switch some songs up for the second day. Only AB6 and Mamamoo switched a couple of songs. Other than that, Kai, I, they obviously performed the same song, but it was like, it's just insane how they only sang for 20 minutes and four slash three songs when they should have performed at least six songs. And they also had some special stages other than Dreamcatchers, Solar and Dehui, had the collab and they sang let it go from frozen and g idol sang love yourself by justin bieber but it's like why would i want to hear that those are the most random songs in the world especially let it go why would i want to hear that you know i'd rather hear a song from g idol or mamamoo or ab6 and not to mention i think the most unprofessional out of all was the fact that on sunday the show was supposed to start at 1 p.m that's what they have been saying for months and then on saturday when we got the schedule for saturday we also got the schedule for sunday and it was starting at 4 p.m of course instead of 1 p.m and then the day of my friends and i left at around 2 p.m because we didn't want to go to the pre-show obviously and we were in the line waiting to get in thankfully the lines were as long on Sunday so we got in very fast but at 2 30 p.m they posted on Instagram and Twitter that the show was starting at 3 p.m instead of 4 so basically everyone who was not at the venue at that moment had 30 minutes to get to the venue like I don't have words like just explain like that just you say thankfully my friends and I were already there and as I said it wasn't as crowded so it was very easy for us to get in but I saw that there are people who completely missed the second day completely missed the second day because they didn't have time to get there or they didn't see the update or it's just insane like you don't do that you announce 30 minutes earlier that the show starts an hour earlier than it was supposed to like yeah so in that sense k-pop flex was definitely a scam but of course i'm still happy you know that i saw all of these groups especially monster x who is one of my favorite groups i've been a mon bebe for so long and I'm, I'm i was very happy to see them obviously i cried like half of their performance and the others were amazing st dream and hype on kai like i cannot believe i saw the one and only kim jong-in but 50% a scam or more. And when they announced that they are going to be holding K-pop Flex in Frankfurt again next year in June, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. And they're also holding it in London in September next year. I think I'm very curious to see how many people are going to buy tickets. I mean, obviously if they bring big groups, I know that it's going to be sold out again, but it doesn't, you know, make up for the fact that they still scammed us and they were extremely unprofessional. So I really, really hope they just fix all of this and give the artists more time to perform. Like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> I could have seen Master X perform so many more songs, but I didn't. <laughs>
As far as Frankfurt goes, I was very happy that we had time to visit the city a little bit. It's very beautiful, but I was a bit surprised at the fact that in some places it smelled kind of bad and there was like some trash around and I was not expecting that from like a big city like Frankfurt. Like, you know, I don't want to like toot my own horn, but in my city in Constanza, there's no such thing. It's a very clean city, surprisingly. Now I'm only realizing, you know, I I'm just saying, you know, like Frankfurt is still so much more beautiful and stuff than Constanza, but I'm just saying. And also the main station, like the streets around main station, full of homeless people, very unsafe, you know. Thankfully, we only walked around there during daytime and there was a lot of people around, but yeah, a lot of like drug addicts and homeless people and stuff. So, you know, not the best place. And also, I want to know what is the deal with the Germans and their lemonade. Because I ordered lemonade twice. And both times I got rhubarb lemonade, which tasted horrible. Like, what is that on the menu? It said lemonade. Like, it said lemonade. So, I'm expecting a lemonade, you know, with lemon and not rhubarb. And it wasn't even lemonade. It was a soda, but it tasted horrible. So, like, what is up with that? We didn't really eat anything traditional because we didn't have time, so we didn't find places and stuff. It, it was a whole thing. But uh, on the plane back home, it just hit me all of a sudden. And I started crying and I, I couldn't stop. Like I was crying and crying and crying. I don't know if it was sad tears or happy tears or both or like the realization. Because while I was there, it didn't seem real. And still now it doesn't really seem real. But yeah, I don't know if it was realization or something. But like it just hit me and I started crying so much. But... Yeah, that was Cape Aflex. Definitely an experience. Uh, but of course, at the end of the day, I'll only remember the beautiful moments, you know, not the bad ones. So now I'm just waiting for these guys to say something about Europe. And yeah, fingers crossed. I also have a lot of photos and videos from Cape Aflex on my Instagram. If you want to see them, go follow me on Instagram. And I have some footage from before I left for Frankfurt and before I got my hair and everything of when my friends and I hung out and we went to the beach and stuff so I think I'm going to insert those clips right now Another lazy afternoon The clouds covered in grey Third coffee of the day Almost fell asleep on soon I yawn at the display Third meeting of the day But I can hear raindrops step on the roof it's like they're calling out don't lose your youth cause i can stay inside and type away inside oh may today just a little less mundane oh i can stay inside and type away inside oh take today oh this and then the rest
bridge if on dress I don't care today what the neighbors might say Put on my rain boots, my favorite chiffon dress I don't care today what the neighbors might say Cause I could stay inside and Type away inside or oh, make a today Just a little less Monday Oh, I could stay inside and Type away inside or oh, take today Oh, dancing in it not going to any course today my classmates and i went and ate pizza which i forgot to vlog and then we went to the mall and we ended up going to two malls actually because we bought a lot of things first i got a nail file because i really really needed one for i don't know how many months now i got a lip balm because i will also need another one soon and i saw that this one has spf 15 in it and I've used Palmer's before and it's alright, I guess, but I mainly got it for the SPF. Some cleansing nose pore strips because I need them really, really bad. I got this nail polish from She. I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty tiny. I really like this color. I don't know, I just wanted to get a color that I don't usually get. And I wanted to get a white nail polish as well to use with the nail stickers that I bought a long time ago. But then I saw these nail stickers from Trend It Up and I've been looking for nail stickers, like proper nail stickers like this for so long. It's so hard to find them in stores in Romania. You can only buy them online and they're pretty expensive. I mean, these ones were kind of expensive as well, but they have 24 stickers so I can definitely use them twice. And yeah, I just got one to try them and if they're good, if they last me at least 10 days, I think I am satisfied. But yeah, the design is actually really cute and I think I'm going to put this on on sunday i bought this eye pencil from she which has two shades of pink and purple i don't know i just really wanted an eye pencil and i didn't want a black one i wanted a colorful one and i was like blue i don't know and i found this one and it has two colors so i was like yep i'm getting this one and last but not least i got a toner and sunscreen i've been getting some pimples lately ever since i came back from germany but even before i feel like my skin wasn't great so i was like okay i think it's time i get a toner i found this one from ziaja i don't know i looked up reviews and they were pretty good but this was the cheapest one so obviously i got it and i used it already i suppose it's okay it's just that it has fragrance in it unfortunately Unfortunately. And then I got this sunscreen from Jerokosen. I don't know. I don't know if it's good or not, but it has SPF 50 and it was the cheapest I could find. And it's also 200 milliliters. So I was like, yeah, I'm sold. I'm getting this. Woo!